get when you mix a Whipple Supercharger, a 392 Wrangler, Deutsch Off-Road, and Ford 4x4? This is Hades, the most ridiculous Jeep Wrangler that we have ever built, and now we're giving it away. Stay tuned as I go through a build sheet from top to bottom on this one-of-a-kind Jeep Wrangler that could be yours. We can have built this rig without our friends at Deutsch Off-Road out of Chandler, Arizona. They always do insane builds, and we knew when we had an idea of doing a supercharged Jeep Wrangler 392, we had to reach out to them because they just do incredible work. Because of them, we were able to put a three liter Gen 5 Whipple supercharger underneath the hood. Check this thing out. Underneath the hood of this 6.4 liter Hemi V8 is the one of one first ever mass produced Whipple Gen 5 supercharger. In that cherry red, it makes sure that that is the focus of what is driving the powerhouse. To give you some background, we reached out to the folks at Whipple Superchargers and Deutsch Off-Road, and we knew that we, if we were gonna do another 392, we need to do something that has never been done before. They had been in the process of developing a new product for the 6.4 liter Hemi V8, and the biggest issue that they had was fitting this supercharger inside the space of the Jeep Wrangler. So it took eight months of R&D, uh, this thing sitting away from us in Fresno, California, before finally seeing the finished product. Uh, we have a brand new HydroGlide air hood scoop right here that separates the water from the air and then sends air down into the air uh, filter feed right here. 392 was already incredibly fast. This thing is faster than the TRX. Uh, don't know what the horsepower number is yet, but I can tell you one thing, when you're driving it, it's immediate response. I love the look of it. Uh, I'm just really stoked and pleased that we were able to work with Whipple Superchargers, fantastic company out of Fresno, known for their uh, increased performance. And I will say uh, it was worth the wait. One thing you'll notice with a lot of our builds is we are putting Alpha Rex on everything. Two reasons for that. It looks cool and it increases your performance when you're actually on the road. The brightness and quality of the light is far superior than even the highest quality LED lights that come from the factory. I love the way that it lights up. It's not gaudy or um, annoying. Some of the other competitors, it's just way too much going on, too many colors. This is very simple, very clean. We love the folks at Alpha Rex. We got the classic Road Armor Stealth Bumper here. Uh, we've used this on a bunch of our builds. It gives you the ability to have those tires uh, swing freely, ton of clearance, and then also just has the robustness that if you hit something, uh, this is gonna protect your rig. You got the Warren VR 10S winch. Uh, you're not gonna need this. You're most likely gonna be pulling people out of ditches, uh, but this is a synthetic rope, great pulling power, and uh, is obviously Warren has been a great partner of ours for a long time. Up front, we got the Baja Designs. I believe these are the Squadron Sport Lights. Um, these are just little SAE compliant fog lights. And then underneath this thing, we have uh, some ridiculousness going on. Let's start with the Deutsch Off-Road Steering Kit. Now this is 7075 uh, memory metal aluminum. So that thing is gonna take the whole weight of the Jeep and bounce right back into shape. You're not gonna be able to destroy that uh, even with the toughest off-roading. There's other components that would probably fail before that steering kit. It was a must add on this Jeep Wrangler and we'll have a full video kind of going through the ins and outs of that product. But you can see right there, we upgraded the Dana 40s to Dana 60 axles. When you're running this much power and 38 inch tires, the axles were gonna be the first thing that break, the axles and the drive shafts. We upgraded both of those to Dana Ultimate uh, products that uh, is one of those things that like, it's hard to spend $20,000 on axles, but that is what is gonna make sure that this thing stays on the road and uh, stays put together so you're not gonna have to worry about that for years to come. Love the folks at Dana. Now let's move on to the tires and wheels and we keep on making our way back. The wheel and tire combo are similar to what we've run in the past with the black Rhino wheels. These are 20 inch wheels, eight lug to conform to the Dana 60 uh, underneath this beast. And then we got the STT Pro Discover tires by Cooper. These are brand new to the market, 38 inch uh, wide. That's a big, that's a big name of JAMA. Still plenty of sidewall there. Anytime I'm running anything bigger than 17s, that's always my biggest concern, but I will say I really like this look and uh, you're still gonna have plenty of meat to make sure that you are safe on the trail. These fenders are one of our favorites, the Road Armor Stealth Series. And what I love, what Deutsch Off-Road did 
was add the little accent wrap here. So it just adds a contrast, ties everything together. You see we're going with a motif of black bronze and this mythos red. This wrap is a KPMF wrap in mythos red that is matte and beautiful and every single angle looks like it's a different color. Is it purple? Is it red? Is it black? Uh, I love how it contours to the shape of the Jeep. And I saw a couple builds in the past that had this color and I knew that we had to put it on this Jeep to really make sure it stood out. Uh, with something that has this Whipple Supercharger underneath, you wanna make sure that people know you're coming from a mile away. This is our first time ever running KC highlights on any of our rigs. And there's no rhyme or reason for it. We love the folks at Rigid, we love Baja Designs. And finally, we were able to make contact with someone over at KC Highlights and was like, we wanna put one of these sets on our rigs. Because we've used this gravity bar before for the A-frame pillar. Uh, they're the only ones that make it for the Mojave and the 392. Uh, but the Gravity Series is a fantastic 50 inch light bar that is incredibly bright, very durable, and I will say the wiring harnesses that came with it, the instructions, and uh, it's pretty you know, foolproof when it comes to installing lights. So our first experience, so far so good with KC Highlights. We'll let you know as the sweepstakes goes on how they hold up, but overall, I really like the look of it. I love the covers, and KC does a really good job with their branding and marketing, and they back it up with a really high quality product. So very happy with KC Highlights. Now, when I first reached out to SDI, I wanted to learn more about the product because I didn't know if it was something that was kind of cheesy, that wasn't going to really hold up. After wheeling a 700 plus horsepower Jeep Wrangler in the desert and off-roading and on the street, this is one of the coolest, most innovative solutions when it comes to suspension that I've seen. I love being able to just turn the settings on a whim or on a dial. And with a 392, you get adjust individual shocks, the front and back. So whenever you're going into turns or cornering on the street, if you want a higher performance that you could really change uh, and tune in to exactly how you want it, this solution is fantastic. I'm really happy with them. Check them out, SDI, uh, it's the E-Click shocks. Now, suspension-wise, we got a the Rock Crawler 3.5-inch long travel kit on here. It is a fantastic product. We've loved Rock Crawler, ran on probably three or four different rigs in the past. Gives that lift that will be able to fit those 38-inch tires, and overall, just a really aggressive stance. With 700 horsepower, we couldn't go too high. This thing would be top heavy and be a death trap. So three and a half inches was the perfect amount with 38 inch tires. This thing is a monster, but it's not overwhelming, if that makes sense. All right, making our way back, we have the patented Rock Slider Engineering side steps. We love these side steps, especially for the hefty boy. And me, you step on those, no worries at all. And they are rock sliders. You can bang them up and those will keep on kicking. Uh, making our way back uh, is one of my favorite mods on this vehicle. Now you, if you've been watching our videos, you know that we have a great relationship with Magnaflow. We put it on a ton of our rigs and this is no exception. Just wait. Just beautiful undertones. This sounds so good. The X Mod system by Magnaflow never ceases to amaze. Sounds way better than stock. And in order to protect this rig, even more than the factory skid plates on the Rubicons is we went with the Artec full skid plate uh, package. After you spend thousands of dollars on an exhaust, you wanna make sure that's protected because this is way higher than the factory exhaust, but still is gonna be uh, one of the first things to hit if you're rock crawling. So uh, Artec created a really innovative solution, heavy duty skid plates for this, and then we have that running throughout. Uh, we could have just powder coated them black, but that's boring. So we went with the same bronze that comes standard on the 392, and I think it really ties it in. Now in the back here, we also have the Road Armor bumpers with some Baja Designs S2 Pro reverse lights. What I really love is are these Alpha Rex rear tail lights. These things look cool, are blacked out and smoked. So it just adds another component and uh, another awesomeness thing to this build. We love the folks at Alpha Rex. Uh, I missed this, but... We also have the stealth fenders on the back, tying everything into the front. If you're gonna do the front, might as well do the back. Uh, and this is really what turns a regular Jeep into something hyper custom. Fenders, bumpers, lift, and suspension are like the four things that you need if you really wanna modify your Jeep to unlock its full potential. In the back here, we have a full-size spare. In order to fit that 38-inch monster, we had to upgrade to the Spartacus HD uh, tire carrier on the back. That's the exterior of this rig. Let's check out the interior and some of the 
awesome things that you get with 392. The interior of Hades is like a luxury vehicle. It's very similar to your standard Rubicon but with a couple glaring differences. Now, if you go right here, we'll turn it on. One thing you'll notice is the performance exhaust. You press that button, you go into quiet mode. Still pretty loud, but when you open it up, lets everyone know that you're coming from a mile away. We have all of the lights hooked up to the aux channels that are just standard from the factory. You have the ability to lock the front and rear axle, but with this right here, you're able to change your driving settings. You're able to tune the front and back individual shocks to get you the best riding performance. Really cool innovative design that is at your fingertips. You could change it from street to off-roading with one little click, a uh, fantastic product. You'd see on the dash, we have 643 miles on this as of this recording. This is a 2022 Jeep Wrangler that was being worked on for a year. We've barely driven this thing, but now you can drive it home. Some of the last fin finishing touches on here, you have your 12 inch screen, you have your standard Rubicon apps from off-roading pages and the ability to see your front and rear cameras, but also the 392 has the grayed out dash as opposed to just your standard Rubicon, uh, which is a really cool, clean look. You have your media ports right here. All of your windows are on the side. Um, kind of your standard uh, Rubicon. One thing I do like is the 392 is em embroidered right into the seat. Uh, and besides that, if you get into this vehicle, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a 392 and ours. Uh, it's a very standard luxurious interior. Uh, but once you put your foot on that pedal, that's when all hell breaks loose. There you have it, the most ridiculous most powerful, most expensive Jeep Wrangler we have ever built in the history of Forge 4x4 with our friends at Deutsch Offroad could be yours. Now, if you didn't know, if you get entered to win this thing, you have the choice of winning this Jeep Wrangler 392 Whipple Supercharged Beast or this Ram 1500 TRX. If you want to see the build sheet of this thing, simply click the link below. We'll have a description because the winner gets to choose between that Jeep or this TRX. I will say it is going to be a very tough decision because both are awesome, but there's only one place you can win it. That's at Forge4x4.com. Supercharged!